not Pocahontas, it's Margie. <laughs> and today I'm doing a movie review of the 1999 film Forces of Nature. This film starred Sandra Bullock, Ben Affleck, and Mara Turney. I hope I'm saying that right. It was directed by Bronwyn Hughes. I hope I'm saying that right. And written by Mark Lawrence, who, as many of you know, wrote Miss Congeniality and Miss Congeniality 2, Two Weeks Notice, um, Music and Lyrics, Did You Hear About the Morgans? And so Sandra loves, basically Sandra loves to do his mo movies, all that to say. The basic plot of this movie is Ben Affleck's character is uh, getting married in like a week or whatever. And so he is trying to get to the wedding, and he gets on a plane, and he gets seated next to this woman, Sandra Bullock, and he the plane, like, hits a bird or something. It's weird, and it can't fly, and then all the airports are jammed. They cancel all the flights, and it's just a mess. And so he's trying desperately to get down to, I believe it's Georgia, to get to this wedding. So he and Sandra agreed to ride in this car down to try and get there. She's trying to get there for another reason, to sell a property. It's basically about their crazy journey and uh, what happens along the way. Let's talk performances. Ben Affleck, um, I guess was okay. I mean, I really was not wowed at all by his performance. I am not extremely familiar with his work. I've only seen like a couple of his movies. So, you know, it may be how he normally is, but I would say in the global, you know, the global scale or whatever you want to say of performances, definitely not very good. I mean, okay, I don't know what else he could have done with the role, but it, he just, I didn't feel like he handled it well. He was stuttering almost constantly um, through like the first, you know, little 30 minutes of the film or whatever. I don't know if that's what he does. I, I'm not familiar with a lot of his work or whatever. But, um, so yeah, that was kind of strange. I don't know. I just didn't really think it was that great of a performance. I thought it was average. Sandra Bullock, I guess, was okay in this role. I think she was definitely typecast, and I think she probably agreed to take it based on the fact that it was written by Mark Lawrence. So, I don't know. I I guess she was okay. I mean, like I said, really typecast. I mean, I have seen her play this type of character, this kind of nutty, insane, you know, freakish out there like in your face character so many times that I was this was and this was not definitely not the best out of all the times I've seen her do that. So it's not one of her brightest, obviously. If you're a diehard fan, of course you'll want to see it. But yeah, she didn't really, you know, do that great. Um, Mara Turney, again I hope I'm saying this right, was solid. Uh I didn't think she had a lot to Lots of room to go, but, you know, it could have been better. I mean, the, okay, can I just say this? I think the whole film was like, eh, it could have been a lot better. First of all, the okay, the basic plot is not that great. I mean, the concept could have been, the concept is good. It could have been done so much more better. And I'm not bashing Mark Lawrence. I'm just saying, I don't know, something about it didn't quite work for me. I didn't buy all the chemistry between the actors, and I'm not just, I'm not necessarily talking about, like, between Sandra and Ben, or Mara Turney and Ben. I'm just talking about, like, the whole cast. They just didn't seem to really gel. You know, they were just kind of like, ugh, let's get in and do this part and collect the paycheck and get out. Honestly, I didn't really feel like anybody was trying with this movie. I felt like they were just trying to make money. And believe it or not, Hollywood, you can tell when that's the case, okay? <laughs> Directing, it was kind of strange. It was kind of classic 90s, 2000s or whatever, but it was kind of weird. And I made a special note of this. 
you'd be watching the film and the camera, okay, like, let's say this is the camera. The camera would just go like this. It would just, like, swing and your views would, like, twist and then go back. And it was just like the person was doing like this, holding the camera. I mean, I don't know what was up with that. Um, I would say definitely the best parts of this film were the actual, like, there was a hailstorm that was pretty nice. Some of the visual effects were pretty cool. Um, that kind of thing. But as far as the acting and stuff, eh. Honestly, and I feel like this movie was very confused. Is it a comedic drama or is it a dramatic comedy? Or, like, it's just... You're, you don't really know how to, you know, do it. I felt like Ben was average. I felt like Sandra was typecast. And everyone else was average or worse than average. I mean, I'm just going to be honest with you. Definitely not Mark Lawrence's best film. Um, and I'm not sure how early it, it was in his career. It was pretty early, you know. And he's done some good things since then. Um, as far as quality... But, yeah, not his best. Let's Talk Parents Guide. <laughs> um, again, not your best of films. There is no F words, two S words, two B words, um, and a couple other few mild profanities. So the profanity actually was not that bad, but some of the other content was pretty racy, such as... Sandra is seen naked from behind from the waist up. Um, there's a lot of drinking and smoking going on. Sandra is in bra and panties in a bedroom scene. They go to a gay bar and Ben takes uh, everything but his boxers off and dances around. I mean, there's a whole, like, the whole beginning of the film is Ben is already being torn about whether to get married or not because... Like, his family and everybody who's married that he knows is miserable. The whole film, they're just bashing marriage. It is ridiculous. Like, okay, the beginning of the film, I'm sorry I'm looking at my notes here, but I wrote this down. The beginning of the film, the grandfather says, marriage is a prison. The love fades and marriage is one big lie and all of these kind of things. One of the characters says, all the best presidents sleep around. And, I mean, it's just like constantly... The content is just like that. It's just like constantly you're just like, it's from a fan, like, this is not a family movie, I would say. Would I watch this movie again? No. Absolutely not. Not, okay, even if I would say not from morally, which I could probably stand some of that stuff if it was super awesome in every other place, but... It is definitely not. I mean, even if it had been clean as a whistle, I wouldn't waste my time on it again because everything about this movie screams average or worse. That's just my opinion. I mean, I don't know if this was supposed to be like a takeoff film, like a stepping stone kind of film for the director and Mark, the writer, and, you know, Ben and Sandra, they're all trying to climb. No, I would not say that it achieved its purpose. I mean, it's just a complete letdown, um, if you want me to be honest. And if you like this movie, I've said it before, I'll say it again. If you like this movie, I'm so happy for you. I'm so glad you get something out of it. I did not. The comedy kind of fell flat. There was like two or three funny moments. But, so yeah. I'm giving this film two stars out of five. Let me explain myself. There was, like I said before, there was some pretty cool, like literally five minutes though total of like visual effects and stuff like that. Like the outdoor, like I said, there's a really nice hail scene, like the nature scenes and stuff like that. There's a couple of those. Obviously, the film is titled Forces of Nature. We're, we're really nice. So that's where the, the um, you know, two out of five is coming from. If, it, if they had edited that out, I would say probably one out of five. Just because, okay, there's worse movies morally and, you know, technically, critically, all this kind of stuff. But, you know, they're better. Ooh, and thank God they're better. So, anyway, 
Yeah, I'm not trying to bash anybody or anything. I'm just saying if you're asking me, hey, Margie, should I watch this movie? You know, I, should I buy it? Should I wait, you know, put my time into it? I would say no. But, you know, that's just my opinion. And, you know, you make your own choice. This has been my movie review of the 1999 film Forces of Nature. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. Music